40 Irish Terrier Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. The Daredevil of the Emerald Isle The Irish Terrier is a medium-sized terrier known for its bold and courageous nature. Male Irish Terriers typically weigh around 27 pounds, while females weigh about 25 pounds, and their shoulder height should fall between 18 and 20 inches. Number 2. The Spirited Irish Terrier stands out with its rectangular body, erect tail, long legs, and distinct V-shaped ears that fold forward. But what will truly grab your attention right away is their standard wiry and fiery red coats. Number 3. Contrary to the misconception that Irish Terriers are only red, they can come in shades of red, wheaten, or red wheaten. This misunderstanding may have sprung from concerns about the quality of wheaten coats. White markings anywhere on the dog are not allowed except for a small patch on the chest which is acceptable. Number 4. These dogs are also recognized for their longer legs and body compared to other terrier breeds which set them apart as one of the raciest terriers in the group. Number 5. Traditionally, Irish Terriers had their tails docked to about two-thirds of their original length shortly after their birth. In places where docking is now banned, judges focus on evaluating the tail carriage. The tail should begin relatively high, with that sticking straight up or curving over the back or to the sides of the body. Number 6. According to the AKC standard, Irish Terriers are known for their fearless and impulsive nature. They are often described as daredevils because of their headlong and reckless approach when confronting adversaries. Number 7. Irish Terriers are known for their brave and energetic nature, never hesitating to face a challenge. As a result, they may frequently engage in confrontations with larger dogs, emphasizing the needs for precaution due to their penchant for trouble. Number 8. These Terriers also tend to struggle with cohabiting with other dogs, showing dominance and aggression, especially towards those of the same sex. They also might not get along with cats, often spending their time chasing them. Number 9. Irish Terriers, like most Terrier breeds, have a strong prey drive, and they can easily chase and harm smaller pets like hamsters, birds, or rodents. To ensure everyone's safety, it's wise to avoid introducing them to such animals. When taking your Irish Terrier for a walk outdoors, always remember to keep them on a leash. Number 10. Staying true to their Terrier roots, Irish Terriers are quite vocal. They love to bark and will alert you to even the slightest presence, showing their prowess as excellent watchdogs. You might often find them barking to notify you about a squirrel on a nearby tree branch. Number 11. Irish Terriers like most terriers, also have a strong digging instinct. When not sufficiently stimulated, they may dig multiple holes in your yard. Training them to stop this behavior is typically challenging. Instead, it's more effective to set aside a specific area in your yard where your Irish terrier can satisfy their digging instincts. Number 12. These guys are also quite the escape artists, known for climbing or digging under fences when chasing prey, sometimes resulting in them running away from home. So it's really crucial to maintain secure fencing and closely supervise them during outdoor activities. Number 13. According to canine psychologist Stanley Korn's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, Irish Terriers are ranked 53rd out of 79 dog breed groups in terms of intelligence. They usually need 40 to 80 repetitions to learn new commands and tend to obey the first command 30% of the time or more. Number 14. Irish Terriers are a resilient dog breed, typically living around 13 to 15 years on average. With adequate care and attention, they can often surpass their expected lifespan and live well into their senior years. Number 15. Like all dog breeds, Irish Terriers can be susceptible to certain health concerns. Some potential medical conditions to be aware of in this breed include hip and elbow dysplasia, obesity, hypothyroidism, von Willebrand's disease, thrombopathia, and various eye issues like cataracts and progressive retinal atrophy. Number 16. Another health concern to watch out for is cystinuria, a condition where dogs can produce excessive amounts of amino acid called cysteine in their urine. This can lead to painful bladder stones and potentially can kidney failure too. While still rare, Irish Terriers have a high incidence of this condition compared to most other breeds. Number 17. During the 1960s and the 70s, these dogs faced problems with hyperkeratosis, an inherited defect causing painful cracks on the pop heads. Today, responsible breeders steer clear of bloodlines associated with this disease. Number 18. The Irish Terrier is an obedient, robust, and agile breed, excelling in various dog sports such as agility, obedience, rally, earth dog trials, and flyball. 
Number 19. Despite not being a traditional water dog breed, Irishes thoroughly enjoy swimming, especially if they have been introduced to it from a young age. They relish taking a refreshing dip in the pool, particularly on hot summer days. Number 20. In the book The Irish Terrier by F.M. Jowett, Irish Terriers were historically described as the poor man's sentinel, the farmer's friend, and the gentleman's favorite. Their breeding prioritized working qualities and gameness over appearance, making them natural vermin killers. Number 21. Early Irish Terriers displayed a range of colors, including black and tan and gray and brindle. It wasn't until the late 19th century that the solid red color became the standard for the breed. Number 22. The Irish's origins remain shrouded in mystery, but they are thought to be one of the oldest terrier breeds, possibly tracing their ancestry to dogs like the now extinct black and tan terrier and a larger wheaton color terrier. The breed received official recognition in 1875 at a dog show held in Glasgow, Scotland. Number 23. By 1879, Champion Airy and Kilney Boy laid the foundation for Irish Terriers. In 1880s, they became the fourth most popular breed in Britain, sparking a controversy that changed the appearance of British dogs. Number 24. In 1889, the Irish Terrier Club mandated uncropped ears for dogs born that year to be shown under Kennel Club rules. This sparked controversy but ultimately led to the prohibition of ear cropping for all breeds in Great Britain. Number 25. Soon after, Irish Terriers rapidly gained popularity and spread to the US. The breed made its mark in the United States, making its first appearance at the Westminster Kennel Club show in 1881. Number 26. The American Kennel Club registered its first Irish Terrier named Aileen in 1885. This paved the way for the establishment of the Irish Terrier Club of America in 1896. Number 27. In the First World War, Irish Terriers played crucial roles as messenger dogs and sentinels, showcasing immense bravery and loyalty. Lieutenant Colonel E. H. Richardson, the commander of the British War Dog School, commended the breed's intelligence, faithfulness, and honesty, highlighting how they saved numerous soldiers' lives and proved to be exceptional companions. Number 28. Despite its admirable qualities, the Irish Terrier has experienced a decline in popularity. The breed is not commonly seen in standard dog shows, except for well-attended specialty shows. Today, Irish Terriers hold the 131st position among the 199 breeds, according to the AKC's list of the most popular dog breeds in America for 2022. Number 29. Irish Terriers are a rare breed in the US, resulting in long waiting lists and expensive prices. A pop from reputable breeder can range from $1,200 to $3,500 or more, depending on lineage. Number 30. A remarkable story about the bravery of the breed involves Prince, a half Irish Terrier and half Collie mix. Prince embarked on an arduous journey from London to reunite with his beloved human owner, Private James Brown, in the northern trenches of France during the First World War. Number 31. Prince became the regimental mascot and a ratter for Brown's regiment during the war and remained even after Brown returned home. At the war's end, the RSPCA successfully reunited Prince with his master. Sadly, Prince passed away a couple years later in 1921. Number 32. These charismatic terriers have made appearances in pop culture, notably in the 2021 American post-apocalyptic survival movie Finch, where Tom Hanks stars alongside an Irish terrier cross named Goodyear. Number 33. A 2007 American family film titled Firehouse Dog also stars an Irish terrier as the main character. Number 34. In the 1955 Disney movie Lady and the Tramp, the character of Tramp is based on an Irish terrier. Number 35. William Wordsworth's poem Fidelity was inspired by the death of Charles Goff, who fell from Striding Edge Helphalen in 1805. Several months later, a shepherd found Goff's body below Red Tarn, still guarded by his loyal Irish terrier, Foxy. Nearby were the remains of her deceased puppies. Number 36. Former Canadian Prime Minister William Leon Mackenzie King owned several Irish terriers, all named Pat. He even conducted seances in an attempt to communicate with the first Pat after the dog's passing. Number 37. The University of Notre Dame had an Irish Terrier as its mascot until the 1960s, when he was succeeded by the Notre Dame Leprechaun. These mascots went by various names, with the last one being Clashmore Mike. Interestingly, two Irish Terriers are depicted in the limestone on the east elevation of Alumni Hall at the university. Number 38. Irish Terriers have been honored on postage stamps and various collectibles celebrating their significance in both history and culture. Number 39. These dogs have also made their presence felt in literature. In Eric Maria Remarque's novel, Three Comrades, an Irish terrier is featured, described as having straight legs, a square body, an oblong head, and a personality that's intelligent and cheeky. Number 40. The famous American novelist, Jack London, wrote books titled Jerry of the Islands and Michael, Brother of Jerry, which revolve around Irish terriers. According to the bloodlines recorded at the beginning of the books, these terriers may have actually existed. Alright guys, which of these Irish Terrier facts intrigued you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.